childhood as well. Like you know, I almost missed this, it was quite unusual, I guess. During that childhood, when I was um, about five years of age, I was sexually abused by my grandmother. Um, and that kind of, um, that was so kind of confusing for me. Um, but I can remember even as a little kid, knowing it wasn't right and telling her it wasn't right. And, and that was, um, I feel pretty chuffed about that now, now that I'm older. To think that I was still, I still knew at that time that that wasn't okay. Um, but when I was about eight as well, was eight? Yeah, about eight or nine, um, I was groomed by this guy um, who sexually abused me too and some friends of mine as well. We were all in a little the same little age group. actually started comp contemplating suicide and uh, to the point I was living in a block of flats and I can remember kind of being, being there and just waking up in this flat and having nothing but needles and kind of a lot of drugs paraphernalia lying around about me and uh, it was a really lowest point in my life as I say as I thought. very violent myself um, as a teenager and um, got involved in big knife fights and clubs and all the rest of it and um, I became what I learned was it, you, you just become more violent than anybody else they ain't gonna hurt you.
Hi there, welcome to Sacred Project. Um, just to give you a kind of outline of what we do here, uh, we specialise in working with people who have uh, faced real kind of trauma and pain, uh, emotional struggle as children, and where they've um, used drugs and alcohol or whatever to kind of suppress their emotions. And um, we can help people overcome their addiction uh, and essentially help them address, if you like, come to terms with what has gone on in their past. So how do you think we might help you? Uh, not sure really. Uh, depends. And, and have you had experiences in your life where uh, which have been particularly painful for yourself? As a yeah, child? most probably experienced most of it in childhood. That's, that's one of my first memories. Uh, the, the, I need to explain here really early as well that what you say, what we say here, and what goes on in this room is totally confidential. So that um, it would stay between ourselves, our right notes, and all the rest of it. Um, and uh, but I will be what we call supervised, and um, that will mean that what goes on between us, uh, whilst I don't discuss, um, you need to share your name, address, or anything like that with my supervisor. I will be sharing the content of what goes on in these sessions. Um, that helps me uh, learn whether I'm working right with, with yourself and doing the right things, if you like, and ensures that you get the service which is uh, appropriate and uh, that I get her and so on. Is that okay? Yeah. 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 So, would you like to tell me then where should we start? At the beginning of your life or your life now as an addict, or where would you like to like start? Uh. Most probably be easier to I don't know start from start from you know childhood I guess. 